What's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. This question is asking choose node analysis and MATLAB to find V0 in the circuit of figure 1. So this is the one we are trying to find. Now in order to do this one we have to know the voltage in this node and this node. So we are going to use node analysis method to find that one out right. In node analysis method what we do is we first set the ground to connect the bottom to the ground so this is going to be zero voltage and then for the unknown nodes nodes is when when we have more than one branch in the junction right so here we have one node two node three node and four nodes so for the nodes we assign the voltages so first uh, let's put v1 right here and v2 and let's call this one v3 v4 now we have four unknown voltages. Now to find this one out, to find the unknown voltages, we have to use Kirchhoff's current law. So Kirchhoff current law says that whatever the current enter must exit. So this four ampere entering, so this should leave like this. Law. Whenever we don't have current provided, we always assume that one is leaving, and we put uh, when we, when it's leaving, we put positive sign, right? Now let's go ahead and create the equations. First of all, in the first node, let's consider the first node. Here, four ampere current is entering. So when the current enter, we put that one equal to negative four, right? So when it enter, it's negative four. Now let's uh, before I do that, let's write the generic equation for the Kirchhoff's current law. So sigma of I in is equal to sigma of I out right and uh, also you can write this one as another way like sigma of i in minus sigma of i out is going to be equal to zero so this is the one we are going to use right here so whatever the current entering is exiting but when we add them together that's going to be equal to zero so this four ampere is entering this node so when it enters, we put a negative sign right negative four and uh, when we don't have the current provided, current in the direction provided, we always assume it's leaving. So let's assume this one is going this way, right? So if I call this one I1, or oh, let's avoid the notation for now. So just assume uh, this one is leaving. So when we don't have the current provided, we assume it's leaving. So when it's leaving, here it's going to be V1, and here we have zero, right? And we know that V is equal to IR and I is equal to voltage drop or voltage rise over the resistance. So here it's going to be V1 minus zero, starting from V1 and going to zero. So that's going to be plus, since it's leaving, it's plus V1 minus zero divided by the resistance in between, that is one ohm, right? And the next one is going to be V1 and it's leaving, right? So V1 minus V4, over 8 right so this is going to be v1 minus v4 over 8 and that should be equal to 0 so this is our first equation and if you simplify this one you should get 1.125 v1 minus 0 0.125 v4 and we are moving the numbers to the other side of the equation since we have negative 4 if we move to the other side of the equation that's going to be a positive 4. Now let's look at the second node. Second node we have this 4 ampere leaving. So when it's leaving we put a positive sign and then when we, when we don't have the current direction we just assume it's leaving. So it's going to go from V2 to 0. So this is going to be V2 minus 0 divided by 2. And also the next one is going to be V2 minus V3 divided by 4 right that's equal to 0 now let's go ahead and simplify this one so if you simplify this one you should get 0 0.75 v2 minus 0 0.25 v3 is equal to negative 4 now let's go so let's uh, let's go to the third node third node we have 2 ampere leaving so when it's leaving we put a positive number 2 and uh, 
when we don't have the current node direction, we assume it's always leaving. And this is V3, and here we have 0, right? So V3 minus 0 divided by 2. So this is going to be plus V3 minus 0 divided by 2. And then in the other side, it's going to be, since we don't have the, don't have the current and the direction, we assume it's leaving. So this is going to be V3 minus V2 divided by 4. So V3 minus V2 divided by 4 is equal to 0. Now if you simplify this one, you should get negative 0 0.25 V2 plus 0 0.75 V3 is equal to negative 2, right? Now let's go ahead and do the fourth knot. In the fourth knot, this 2 ampere is entering. So when it's entering, it's negative, negative 2. And the next one is when we don't have the current or direction, we just assume it's leaving. And this is going to be just V4 minus 0 over the resistance 1, right? And previously, so now what we have to do, we are looking at each node individually. So when you take the other nodes, you should forget about the direction you assume in the first one. So here, when we move to the V4, we look at this one, and here, here we don't have current or direction. So we assume this one leaving, right? So the direction is going to be from V4 to V1. So this is going to be, again, leaving. So it's going to be positive V4 minus V1 over 8, right? That's equal to 0. So it always has to be like this. In the first one, we assumed it's leaving, and it goes this direction, right? So whenever we look at the each node, we, sh we shouldn't consider about the other nodes. We just consider only that one. And when we have the current, we put the sign accordingly. When we don't have anything, we assume it's leaving and create the equation accordingly, right? Now, we have created the uh, last equation. And if you simplify this one, that's going to give you negative 0 0.125 V1 plus 1.125 v4 is equal to 2. Now we have all the equations in this pattern. Now all we have to do is we have to arrange this one in matrix form and solve for it, right? Now since we have four voltages, this is definitely going to be a 4 by 4 matrix. So to solve 4 by 4 matrix, that's why they asked use MATLAB. So we had to use that one. It's very difficult to do it by hand, right? So let's go ahead and list the values. So here I'm going to just show you how to set up the equation and how to set up the matrix. And after that, since we don't have the 3 by 3, we just have to plug it in MATLAB. Now let's go ahead and arrange this one in matrix form. So first column, we have to put all the V1. So here we are going to put 1.125. And uh, for the first one, we don't have any V2, right? So that's going to be just 0. And V3 also, we don't have that one, 0. And the last one, P4, that's going to be 0. Point, actually negative in front, 0 0.125, and that's it. Now let's look at the second equation. So let's put equation numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Now second equation, we don't have any V1, so that's 0. And V2, we have 0. 0.75, and V3, we have negative 0. 0.25, V4, we don't have anything, so that's 0. Then, third equation, we have we don't have V1, so that's 0. V2, we have negative 0 0.25. And V3, we have 0 0.75. V4, we don't have anything, that's 0. The last one, we have negative 0 0.125. And V2, we don't have anything, 0. V3, 0. V4, we have 1. 1.125 right and that's it after that we have created our 4 by 4 matrix and here what we are going to have is v1 v2 v3 v4 and uh, other side we are going to put the numbers we got so this is going to be 4 minus 4 minus 2 2 and if you solve this equation you will end up with these values. V1 is going to be 
3.8 and V2 is going to be minus 7 V3 is going to be minus 5 and V4 is going to be 2.2 right so these are the voltages we have now the question asked for this one V0 this one right here right and if you notice plus sign is this side minus sign is this side so this one we assume this one v1 right so v1 is higher potential and we have the plus this side this is higher potential and minus this side this is lower potential so we have to, to find v0 what we have to do is v0 is going to be equal to higher potential minus the lowest potential so it's going to be v1 minus v4 and uh, from this one we know that v1 is 3.8 minus V4 is 2.2 and if you calculate that one that's going to give you 1.6 voltage so this is going to be the voltage right here and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time